Welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to continue the SQL interview question, uh, which is totally based on the uh, real time. So I will discuss a couple of more interview question. Total uh, uh, five question in this video. So that uh, basically uh, totally on the scenario based, practical based, which help you to. Uh, correct any SQL interview if you want to jump into the data analytics or the uh, data scientist or the reporting analyst even uh, database developer if you attend the interview uh, you will get the step of the question uh, this is the totally based on the scenario based question so if you are able to solve this question then you definitely crack any interview of the SQL so I already uploaded uh, uh, total four uh, interview questions. So uh, just you can go and watch under the playlist. We have the SQL practice exercise with the solution. So uh, if you open, you can find here. Uh, we have the already four uh, video already uploaded. So just you can go and uh, uh, see one by one and do the practices. So uh, I already discussed that if you want to do uh, really practice, okay. So just you can uh, pause the question and uh, solve the all the question and answer. So if you uh, want to learn the complete sequence, uh, I already uploaded the uh, all the video into the series uh, which available into the Pandey Guruji YouTube channel under the. Uh, complete SQL and database tutorial uh, beginner to advanced and this is the English language but if you are comfortable into the Hindi language uh, you can uh, find here under the second playlist that is the SQL tutorial for beginner uh, before I put it in the bracket but even if you want to complete uh, step by step all the training material and uh, training video interview question so I prepared uh, completely and put it in one frame so just you can go and uh, log in to the pandegroji.graphy.com the link i will provide into the description and here yeah, you can go to this uh, download uh, sql training video material and important interview question and with answer which is available only 599 if you want to one to one training uh, you can just uh, uh, registered on the 5000 only so that is the uh, five week training is start with the coming Saturday timing is the 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. so just you can enroll it so uh, let's jump to the uh, question and see uh, uh, how we can solve the real-time interview question so uh, I have now uh, the total uh, five question uh, which is totally based on the uh, scenario based practical based this is not the theoretical is available because the uh, theory question you can find in the Google uh, but practically question you cannot find all this question in the Google so uh, this question uh, you can take from the uh, video description also so the first question is the uh, find the list of the customer detail that don't have a middle name okay so yeah, I mentioned here the table name. So if you go to the dim customer table here, okay. So the question is, if you go to the dim customer table here, and uh, just you can put the uh, table name, okay. So I'm putting the select star from uh, a dim customer table. So the first question is the find the employee detail, uh, uh, employee find the employee detail detail that don't have a middle name means whatever the uh, middle name is not available that employee information uh, you need to be find out here okay so the next question is the uh, uh, find the customer detail uh, from the triple one double zero to the eleven three five five zero so what uh, you need to be used you need to be used the in or you need to be used the between so I will explain in detail our uh, next question is the find the list of the employer whose first name start with the P so we need to be get the all the employee information that name starting with the uh, P and uh, next question is the find the list of the employer whose first name start with the S 
and the last name end with the D. So do you need to be get the employee detail, the name starting with the S and the name ending with the D. Okay. So find the customer detail. Uh, which address contain uh, Park Glen? Okay, so you need to be take all the employee information uh, who uh, who uh, address contain the this keyword that is the Park Glen. So let's jump to the SQL Server uh, Management Studio, and uh, I will discuss all this question in the detail. So I have this uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and I put it all the question here. Okay, so the first question is the find the list of the uh, uh, in customer detail that don't have the middle name. So we don't have the middle name. So like uh, whatever the middle name is the null value. Okay. So uh, the first one is the uh, you need to you can consider uh, you can uh, write the code sometimes some developer is writing here. Okay. Like uh, select star from team customer where uh, middle name is middle name is is null okay so if you write where middle name is null so you will get all the employee which which don't have the middle name so you can see uh, you will get the list of this employee we don't have the middle name so it will work if the data have the uh, only null value is there but let's consider uh, for example suppose i am updating this table okay i am updating this table update dim customer okay and let me create one scenario and so you can better understand here so suppose i have a dim customer i am setting uh, like a middle name is equal to middle name is equal to middle name is equal to empty that is the null value uh, where uh, uh, customer key where customer key is equal to suppose i am putting the uh, 11001 okay so i am putting updating as a uh, empty value for 11001 so now you can see this 11001 also don't have the middle name so now you can see 11001 have the empty but if you execute this part of the code uh, if you execute this part of the code, you can see 11001 is not coming. So in this scenario, if you use the is null function, it's got failed. The requirement got failed. And if you write something, this one interviewer will reject you. So we, I already discussed during the session, uh, we already have the is null function, uh, which handling both the null value. Uh, with the empty value so whatever the value you provided here they replacing this value to the uh, whatever the null value available like for example if the null value is there they replace with the empty value and i'm checking with equal to empty empty so you will get both the null value as the uh, as well as the uh, empty value so if you execute this part of the code uh, you can see 11 double zero one is also coming and null value is coming so whenever you get the requirement to take get the uh, we don't have the value you can use the is null function so i uh, hope you understand how you can solve this type of the question and uh, this is very important concept is null and you if you uh, you will get the question uh, definitely uh, if you get if you attending the interview and also if you uh, started working in the real time definitely you will get this type of the question here okay so now uh, let's uh, discuss with the next question that is the uh, find the customer detail uh, from 11 double zero to 11 three five zero so this is a very simple question so you need to be used the uh, between clause here uh, so between is the basically used to uh, work for the state of the range so if you execute this part of the code uh, you will get this all the employee information starting from the triple one zero zero to double one three five zero so you can see it's coming double one three five zero so like this if you have the requirement you can use the between clause next question is the find the list of the employee which first name start with the p so we i uh, for starting with the p uh, we need to be use the like operator so just you can put this list up from dim imply where first name like uh, p okay so p after you need to be put the 
percentage here okay so uh, if you can see like uh, how you can find the uh, how you can find the uh, uh, first name like p so the interviewer will also ask you i don't want to use the like operator okay so what is the alternate way to solve this question okay we don't want because like operator in the real time uh, is very uh, performance wise is very slow okay so they might be put you the some type of the cross question so how you can solve it so the alternate way of the solving this question is there uh, how you can solve it try to solve the question and you can put into the comment okay so this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, you can say this is the homework for you and uh, if you really not able to solve the question uh, let me know so i will provide you the solution so what is the alternate way to solve this question that is the first name and you can solve the question and uh, if you can put the answer into the comment okay and i'm and i'm i will review it and definitely uh, i will uh, reply to you and if you not able to solve it please let me know okay but uh, what is the alternate way to solve this question now the second one is the uh, uh, question number is the find the list of the employer uh, which first name starting with the s and the uh, last name start ending with the d so i use here the like operator uh, s after the percentage and last name before you need to be put the percentage so you will get all this uh, employer uh, which starting with the s and ending with the uh, last name is ending with the d so you can see starting with the uh, so starting with the uh, uh, starting with the first name starting with the s and last name ending with the d so you can see the first name starting with the s and last name is the ending with the d so this is the also for our homework that uh, how we can solve this question uh, without using the like operator so if you really uh, learn the sequel uh, try to solve this question on alternate way and put the answer into the comment box uh, next question is the find the customer detail uh, which address contain the park glen okay so just you can use the like operator so uh, just you can put the select star from uh, table name select star from table name where address like you need to be put here the before the bracket also and after the bracket because the park glen might be come uh, come into the middle might might be come into the starting might be come into the uh, ending of this uh, letter okay so if you execute this part of the code okay so you can see here uh, you can see you will get all you can see some type of the uh, performance should be low okay if you use the like operator here so now if you go to this address column here you can see all the employee information is coming uh, which contain the address is the park glen okay so you can see the all the addresses contain the park glen so uh, that's it for the total five question discussed in this video so i will continue to provide on daily basis for the practices because uh, 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 90 percent training part is completed okay so if you really interested and you can if you want to download more inter interview question uh, i will provide the link into the video description so just you can uh, download all this question i have total uh, 30 31 set okay basically which set contain 10 questions so we have the 310 question i will add couple of more questions so if you really interested to learn the sql and the practice is a very important uh, so without practice uh, you cannot uh, crack any interview so uh, keep learning and keep watching okay so please if you not uh, subscribe my channel uh, please go and uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, please like the video as well and uh, please share to the everyone who are interested to learn the sql that is a very beneficial for the our friend colleague and me also so thank you so much for the watching thank you have a great day